Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this week we uh, need to talk about safety. So we're here in the Model 3, and I've been wondering, you know, part of the reason I got this car is because we were told that it was going to be really safe, like the Model S and the Model X are two of the safest cars on the market, and that's been verified by independent testing. So I thought, well, I really haven't heard that there's been any independent tests, formal tests of the Model 3 safety, and sure enough, I just went on the thing called the Google it turns out there are two main um, bodies that do uh, automotive testing for safety here in the United States. One's the NTSHT, uh, uh, I'll put that down the bottom there, what that's called. And there's another one is the um, Insurance Institute. So there's a government body and there's an insurance body. And you would think, right, that you would have to have your car tested and deemed safe at whatever level. There's a five-star rating right now. Um, before you sold it, but that's not how it works and in fact it can be months and sometimes cars are never actually formally tested and if you go onto the governmental site they say particularly for low volume cars like your high-end Lamborghinis that only like five or ten of them might be in your country they actually don't do any testing at all so it's actually not mandatory and it's also true that when they do testing they don't go back and retest the old version so the safety testing that you get for a car is whatever the safety test was that year. So a five star one year may not be the same as five star from 10 years ago, for example. So the Model 3 hasn't been safety tested. And so the question is, do we know that this car is really safe or not? Well, we have a little bit of evidence and more is mounting all the time. First of all, we know that the basic structure is similar to that of the S and the X. You've got a battery down low. You're not likely to flip the car over. We have seen one video from Elon that showed the side impact compared to a very safe Volvo. So we have to get the part count down, design it still to be light, uh, but also to make it affordable. And the, I think that the team's done an amazing job of that. And then where this really shows up is in things like safety. So let's take a look at the safety video. Um, so on the one hand, you've got a car that is one of the safest cars in the world, a, a Volvo S60. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> the, so the, the um, um, there are a lot of cars that say they are five star, and um, they are sort of uh, five star. That's not a scientific metric, uh, but that you can, but even though they are something like the Volvo, great car, very, by normal standards, very safe. Uh, the, the, the Volvo is arguably the second safest uh, car in, in the world. Um, but I think it is, it is obvious which car you would prefer to be in in an accident. And it looked like the Model 3 was significantly better at side impact, probably because of that big battery and it stopped it buckling um, around that pole. So we have that evidence. But now uh, there are Model 3s out there, there's been some crashes. And so we've got one image of a Model 3 that just got wrapped around a pole. So for example, a pole like that, the Model 3 went into it at high speed. And as you can see from the picture, the, the frunk, which is empty, just sort of enveloped around that pole at pretty high speed it looked like, and the passenger did fine. The beautiful thing about not having a, an engine in here is that you've got this huge crumple zone. So instead of the engine sort of falling down or falling into you, um, you've got this big crumple zone, and we've seen that with S's and with X's, that the front impact is really good. It's very safe. And we know side impact is very good because of um, that big battery that's in the bottom that gives it a lot of stability. We know that they're very unlikely to flip over because of that same thing. The center of gravity is very low. We have a couple of other crashes that people have talked about that they, um, one of them was at 60 miles an hour approximately, and the driver of that and the paramedics at the scene saying, you know, in most cars, that person wouldn't have survived and they basically got up and walked away. One of the issues though that one of those uh, crash victims noted was, well, actually two things. One, he was fine and was trying to find his insurance information, but he couldn't get to the glove box because this center console here was smashed. He actually hit it with his arm in some way and it smashed and he gave himself uh, a laceration. It wasn't bad, but it meant that he couldn't use this. This had caused some injury 
and the glove compartment hadn't opened. Elon followed up with a tweet to say, I think we can fix that. So now um, they're working on software, it may already be out, so that if you're in a sudden deceleration crash, they're gonna make it so that the glove box just automatically pops open in case it gets broken so that you can get in for your insurance information. And he said that they could fix this problem with uh, this becoming sort of a sharp object that could cut you by overlaying on top of this a very thin layer of plastic instead of what it is now, which apparently is very hard plastic or glass. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're not going to have any formal testing of the Model 3 probably for many more months to come. Uh, we don't exactly know when. Some people on Reddit and other places have suggested it will probably be somewhere around mid-2018. We fully expect it will be a very safe car. Whether it will get five stars in every rating, we don't know, but we're certainly hoping that. Because it has been sort of spun as this is going to be a really safe car, just like the Model S, and those of us silly early adopters believe that and are going to be super disappointed if for some reason on formal testing it is not five star in all categories. We will be very sad and actually I think it will really affect sales. So I'm hoping that it is five star across the board. Front, side, rollover and also that other one that's really difficult that Tesla Model S wasn't perfect at where you sort of hit that right on the corner. They do one where they put a pole right on the corner there. Um, to simulate sort of a car turning in front of you, which is pretty common. The S actually didn't reach uh, perfect in that, but most cars don't. There's a lot of airbags, there's a lot of other safety features, there's certainly the collision warning features, and as we talked about uh, last week, the autonomous driving features, which uh, supposedly there's going to be a big update coming soon, and I can't wait to tell you about that once it arrives, that should also improve safety as well. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for now we have to believe that the Model 3 is safe based on a little bit of evidence and a fair amount of faith. But soon we should have more evidence. It's uh, Talking Tesla. My name is Mel Herbert and I'm out.